What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to uh, talk to you guys a little bit today about what I feel the future of the Oculus Rift is now that it's been bought and paid for by Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook fame and uh, give you my thoughts on it. But before we get started, I want to let you guys know this video is Black Ops 2 for PS3. I haven't played this game in four months, four or five months. I used to play it almost every day. And it's amazing that jumping back into it last night, I saw how rusty I was. Jesus Christ. I, I started the game up. I went into the, the game and got completely destroyed. I said, geez, I got to go back to Ghost. And I felt bad just saying that. And my lovely wife said, don't give up, babe. And I said, all right, let me get back in here. And so I played for about four or five games. And I got my, I started to get my mojo back. I don't, I don't have it yet. So don't think this is how the Beastly Gamer played in Black Ops 2. But it's decent. So I hope you guys enjoy the footage. And if you want to see more Black Ops, let me know. Anyway, black, I mean Black Ops. Anyway, <laughs> Facebook buys Oculus Rift. And now I'm going to give you guys my actual thoughts on it. Uh, I saw Not Too Nerdy's video on whether or not it should be illegal that Facebook is able to buy Oculus because Oculus started as a Kickstarter. They received millions of dollars from loyal uh, consumers, people who had faith in their initial belief. And they, and they lifted them up, they uplifted them, they gave them the money to get started and to create this hardware, and then they sell it to Facebook. And I think that's wrong. <clears throat> Whether or not it, I think it should be illegal, I don't know, but it's definitely wrong. And, uh, you know, I don't think companies should do things like that. This may have a lasting effect on Kickstarters in general, because now we know if a Kickstarter is successful and major co co uh, corporations are looking to purchase that, uh, that company or that product, you know, outright, that the Kickstarter will become null and the people are kind of left looking stupid, waiting for their, you know, for their purchase, and it, it won't be the same as what it was when they were initially sold this idea. So I think it was a terrible idea for them, I mean, a terrible, you know, business move uh, on the part of Oculus to sell it at this point. I think they should have, uh, you know, came out and, and uh, you know, maybe gave the people what they were initially uh, you know uh, promised and then after that kickstarter portion of it was completed uh went on with their business venture with facebook i don't like facebook i'm just going to put that out there i can't stand them i i have a facebook i barely use my facebook and i know i should use it a lot more often i'm a youtuber but i can't stand it i had an original facebook uh probably i started it three years ago and i deleted it a year and a half ago and the reason I uh, I uh, deleted it is because, okay, my older brother, he's a Facebook fiend. That's what I call him. He changed, Joe has changed his profile picture every other day. I'm like, I can't do it. I just don't have the energy. It's pointless to just put out everything about me for these fucking people to watch. And Facebook, it just, it's annoying to see the, the world, the, the state of the mind of the masses. People are like sheep. And, and not only that, people are, are narcissistic, people are, you know, haters, people are argumentative, people are stupid. And just to see that every day, it makes you want to blow your fucking brains out. Because, let me just say it like this, Facebook makes you hate humanity. <laughs> now, don't, don't get me wrong, brother. I love humanity, but seeing it on Facebook makes me pissed off. All joking aside, I hate Facebook. And there are a few reasons I do, okay? The, the privacy of Facebook, their shit is ridiculous. Pretty much anything that you uh, upload on Facebook, it, it belongs to Facebook immediately. That's part, that's part of their terms and conditions. If you don't know that, look it up. If you put a picture of little Emily on Facebook at the, at the swimming pool in her little two-piece, and she's only six years old, Anybody in the, in the fucking world can download this image and fap to it. And fap is an abbreviation or a slang term for masturbate. Just letting you guys know. That's something I can't stand. Uh, I do not like that policy that your own content becomes the content of this multi-billion dollar fucked up company. Not only that, there's constantly bullshit going on on Facebook. Accounts being hacked. Fake accounts being created. Uh, you know, feelings being hurt. I don't like the community of Facebook. It's like Xbox Live, you know, times five million. There's just a bunch of ignorant children on there, and it just gets ridiculous. And you guys know kids can be mean. Not only that, 
Facebook is like the most addictive thing in the world. Everybody uses it, and everybody uses it constantly. You're in the middle of lunch, and then your phone, beep, beep. Facebook. Uh, Stanley said, hello, and look, he's having a cup of coffee at start. Who gives a fuck? I just can't stand Facebook. And so it's very, very addictive. Um, and it just has these 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 connotations that go with it and and I don't like that and then when you think about what oculus was initially what they they sold themselves as this idea and now it has to it has to be combined with these these connotations of Facebook and and now you think you think all this shit has to go with oculus now is oculus gonna have a Facebook logo on it do you have to log into oculus now I mean to Facebook every time you use your oculus is there gonna be you know a uh, comments popping up on the screen from Facebook are you going to be able to see in real time when people drink their coffee now <clears throat> all this crap it comes with Facebook because that's what Facebook's all about they don't want it to be you know a gaming hit anymore they, they said they're going to allow the development of the oculus to continue as it has but they want to focus on communication <clears throat> and that's what Facebook's all about so basically Facebook in a, the 3D VR headspace is what you guys are going to get now with the Oculus Rift. Um, and I just don't like it. I, I do not like Facebook. I have a Facebook for my uh, YouTube channel. And that's the only reason I made it. You know, my wife's on it. A couple of close family members are on it. But if you're not a close family member, I don't accept you. I mean, it's just the way I am. If I don't talk to you like that, we don't talk. I haven't talked in years. I don't like drama. I don't like to see what people have for lunch. I don't like to, you know hear about things that everybody knows and I don't like people reposting shit that everybody else reposts because you feel original when you share somebody else's shit I just I can't stand Facebook and so I think it should be an Xbox One exclusive uh, uh, application anyway <laughs> what does this mean for Project Morpheus I think that this is great news I think Sony right now is like hell yeah you know over in Japan they're like we got this shit man um the reason being Xbox, I mean, uh, Project Morpheus is going to still be focused on VR gaming, and it's going to be focused on PS4 hardware, and I think it's going to be magnificent. The people who tried the game at CES and who've had, you know, the privilege of playing on this headset already said it feels more comfortable and overall better than the Oculus Rift anyway. Now, whether or not that remains to be the case because of Facebook's money, who knows? But they're doing damn good, Sony is. And for gamers who wanted it, you know, for the Oculus Rift and don't like Facebook or don't, you know, don't like the, the connection between Facebook and Oculus, now they have a reason to go out and buy the PlayStation Project Morpheus because it's going to be just for the games. It's going to be for that imagination, for that holodeck experience. And now uh, the Oculus Rift is going to be for something totally different. Uh... And that's my thoughts on it. I mean, call me crazy, agree with me, disagree, I don't really care. Uh, leave your comments, though. Let me know, you know, really, what you think about it. Is this uh, a bad idea? Do you guys like Facebook? First of all, if you like Facebook, I apologize. No, I don't. I don't like Facebook. I think Facebook sucks ass, ass, ass. I just really don't like it. I guess you guys can tell I just don't like Facebook. And now that they've bought the Oculus... It, it makes me kind of not like the Oculus because it's it's a Facebook peripheral now and it's going to connect to your computer and all kinds of dumb, stupid Facebook applications are going to pop up. Rebecca wants to play. Get the hell out of here. I'm trying to enjoy a VR experience. And so now the only true VR you're going to get is through Sony until maybe Microsoft reveals their little Xbox 2 uh, headset. You guys let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I hate Facebook. I'll see you guys next time.